We're live. Oh. So technically, I'm supposed to be making a video today on energy efficiency, and it's the first time ever that power has gone out at CES. What is going on? As you can see, the power is back on. We are in business. Hey guys, what's going on? Carl here, back with, of course, another CES 2018 video. And something that I've been super stoked about is actually checking out energy efficient tech. I'm actually moving in April to a new place and I'm trying to install a few new pieces. So it was my goal this year to highlight some of the best things that I found and mom and dad, I'm looking for you too, trying to get some stuff for your guys' place. And if you guys want more info, you can check out saveonenergy.ca for other ways to make your house more efficient. So let's get into some of the coolest energy efficient things that I saw on the show floor. We are at CES. Almost every single thing that I've seen is not only getting more energy efficient, they are now connected and they are considered a smart piece of tech. Gadgetry. Gadgetry's a word. It's definitely not a word. Gadgetry. For example, we've seen some pretty cool smart fridges. No pun intended. They have <laughs> cool fridges. Each area of the fridge is zone controlled, so you can control the temperature of different types of foods, which help them survive longer, and of course is more energy efficient in general. The one from LG had a double, double door, so not only does it open with two doors, you can open individual compartments, so of course that is energy efficient as you're not opening the entire door or the entire fridge to the elements, and once again, saving money, saving energy, and saving the world. You're Superman. Another cool one, once again, pun not intended, was a Samsung windless air conditioner. So that uses less energy than a traditional air conditioning unit. If you're getting hot from all the hours you've spent gaming, it will keep you nice and cool and of course uses way less energy. So I think the coolest thing, of course, was, I'm just gonna say, Tesla. End of story. I managed to sit in a Model X, so I've test driven a Model S. So obviously Teslas are the future of driving and of course focusing on sustainable energy. And what's cool is they've actually partnered with Panasonic to help build things inside of the home as well. So those batteries actually charge the Model 3 and they've got other ones in collaboration with Panasonic to help fit into the solar panels. That's Tesla Solar. So the power that you're getting from the solar panels, those can naturally charge your house and power it, but you can actually store those and save those in what Tesla calls the power wall. These things can live inside or outside of your house and you can use just one, have multiple, up to 10, whatever your heart's content. If you've got one guy, you can use that as an energy backup or if you've got multiple units you can actually charge those during the day and at night you can have a fully functional house and you're using completely sustainable energy and I would say the third thing is just being connected in general to an overall hub and connecting all of your devices we were over at Samsung and you could connect every smart device you had to smart things so for example if you were going to sleep you could let it know that you were going to bed it would turn off all the lights it would decrease the temperature in your house maybe turn on the energy efficient lights outside and overall save you way more energy, once again, way more money, just using your voice with talking. There's lots of winning. Lots of winning again. Yeah. We've seen a huge rise in devices like Google Home. I've got a ton at my place, Alexa. And with those devices, you can control with your voice, but you can also control those with your app. When you're out and about, I can actually view the temperature in my place, which is back in Toronto. Nick, your house is nice and cool. Nice and cool. No money on heating. Your heating bill will be zero. dollars. And I think that will pretty much wrap up some of the best tech that we've seen that is energy efficient here at CES 2018. If you want more info, I will leave a link down below in the description to get a couple more ideas on how you can save the world and of course, just be more sustainable in a place that is increasingly more reliant on technology. I hope you guys enjoyed this sweet CES video and I will catch the rest of you in more CES coverage or in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace. Boom, boom, boom.